Hey YouTube, Shigun Shinobi here with a review of the Power Rangers Mega Force Red Ranger Training Set. Um, very riveting review here. Um, yeah, I bought this because it came with six power cards, as you can see here. That's honestly it. Um, plus getting the buckle a little bit early was kind of cool. Uh, so basically this is a training set featuring uh, dinky weapons, a cheap mask, and a buckle. This is supposedly the same buckle that we are getting later on in a individual release. Um, however, I believe the individual release is going to be Chrome because there is a deluxe training set that's only available at Toys R Us. Um, it features the same mask, um, the deluxe blaster, so not this little dinky one, an actual um, the Power Ranger blaster toy that you can buy separately. So that's in that set. It comes with a uh, Go Say Morpher that's a lot smaller and just made of plastic. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't light up or make sounds or anything. It's just a smaller Go Say Morpher that does fit the power card. So it's kind of a little bit bigger than a standard power card in terms of size. Um, and then the buckle it comes with is the same mold as this one. However, this is all chrome up here. Um, so I have a feeling that the individual release is going to come with chrome. Uh, I decided to go the cheap route and get the non-deluxe set. Um, for one, I didn't want another blaster. Um, I didn't really care about the little Ghost Amorpher because I wasn't going to do anything with it. Um, so, I, the, if the individual release comes with a chrome buckle, I didn't want two chrome buckles. I'd rather have one that's flat and one that's chrome so they're at least different. Same thing with this blaster. I'd rather have a dinky blaster that's different than the one I already got. So I decided to go the cheaper route. They come with the same six power cards, so it doesn't matter which training set you get, you end up with the same six power cards anyway. So here's uh, the Red Megaforce Ranger, 139, uh, with the Dragon Sword, 138, the same exact picture but in a different background, for 14, 76, black for 7, and blue for 79. So you get six additional power cards. Granted, a lot of these power cards that we're getting for the action card game are just simply the Mega Force Rangers in different poses, some being the same pose. So that's kind of annoying, but they're different cards, so I need them. So, um, as you can see here with the Mega Force Red, they all have the same barcode, so they're all going to say Mega Force Red. I will go through that again, just because people will complain if I don't. So I'm only going to pick one of these cards. Since they're all saying the same thing. All of these cards we've been getting are just Mega Force color. So it shouldn't be that big of a surprise anymore. Yay! So six more power cards because that's what we need in life. Is even more. I'm up to 74 or something. It's ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at the mask real quick. Um, it is pretty much the same mask that you can buy individually. However, the visor part is not a, like, sunglasses plastic. It is clear cut out, so it looks kind of funny. I feel like it's made of a little bit cheaper material, but it's a, it's a fairly sturdy plastic. Uh, and there's no nose guard or anything like that, so it's a lot cheaper of a version than the one that comes with, in, uh, the one that you can buy individually. Uh, lack of visor, lack of nose guard, it's a little bit smaller, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a dinky little play mask. Um, if you want an actual mask, I would get the one that you can purchase um, individually. One, you get a different power card, and... Too. It's just a better mask all overall. I hate the masks that don't have the visors. It just looks silly. Um, we'll take a look at the blaster next since the buckle is actually the coolest thing in here. So it's a little tiny kind of Burger King McDonald's toy-esque blaster. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger than a McDonald's toy. Maybe. But basically you squeeze your finger in here because it's a really tiny little space. Uh, and press... And as you can see, it doesn't go that far. Issue being, um, the Dragon Zord up here is solid plastic. It's um, not hollowed out or made of a lighter plastic material. It's flat out PVC. That's heavy. Uh, and this just uses a simple push gimmick. Like when it locks in and it just pushes it out. That's all it does. There's no spring load in here. 
Uh, and so that just doesn't create that much force. And the top being so heavy, all it does is just kind of dink its way out. So that's kind of disappointing. When I seen this, I was like, oh man, it fires Zords. Just like the deluxe one, except probably better. Turns out it was worse. You can get a lot more distance with the deluxe um, blaster and firing the Zords off than this thing. Uh, here's It does come with the shark, though, so that's a plus. Um, I think this is supposed to be silver, not gold, but okay. We'll go with that. Shark fires a little bit better. That's backwards. Fires a little bit better, but not enough to really matter. You're not going to shoot someone from across the room or something with a shark. So, sorry to break it to you, but ain't going to happen. But it is a cool little tiny toy if you wanted to give it to your kid or something and not give them the bigger one. I don't know why. But it makes no sounds or anything like that, so it's just kind of a piece of dinky plastic. But here's the buckle. Um, Again, dinky piece of plastic, very similar to the um, Samurai one that we got um, in terms of quality. Uh, this is, it's a gold plastic, it does have a little bit of swirl effect in it, but most gold plastics do, so that's not really a surprise. You've got the Gose logo right here, with a nice little ribbed, little glowy sun thing. Uh, this opens up right here to reveal a compartment. You can store cards in there. I'm not sure how many... Let's see, I have 18 cards in this stack. You can fit at least 18 cards in there. I would say you can store probably pretty close to 20, 22 cards or so. So you can actually sort of store a substantial amount of cards in the buckle. So that's always cool. Um, it, it does take a little bit of effort to get open. If this were sitting on your belt buckle, you can't just like kind of lift it yourself. Because I feel like it was on your belt and you just kind of went like that. Try to pull it out of the way, you'd eventually start pulling it off of your belt buckle. Um, you can probably loosen this a little bit if you loosen the screw down here maybe. Um, not really sure where the joint is on there. But you can probably like oil it up or something to make it a little bit easier to, to get in and out. But uh, as it stands, it's not actually that bad. If you get the deluxe set one with the chrome or the individual release, if that one is chromed. Um, you actually got a really nice looking belt buckle on your hands. I mean, granted, not like a legit belt buckle. You wouldn't wear this out in public, I don't think. But, um, for like costume purposes or anything like that. And it does store a substantial amount of power cards. It gets all six in here, plus the 12 from the minifigures. So it stores a fairly good amount in there. So, props to them for that. This actually isn't that bad. Um, the Japanese one had a legit full-on buckle with straps and everything. But that's the Japanese version. Um, I might do a comparison photo gallery for the buckle compared to the Japanese buckle, but I might wait until the individual one's released. I'm not sure yet since this one isn't chromed out and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that is the training set. Nothing wild, crazy, exciting, or anything like that. But, um, hey, it's a new toy. Uh, I can't really recommend this set at all. Um, the blaster is very dinky. Um, if you don't own the Power Ranger blaster toy already, I would recommend going for the deluxe Toys R Us set. You get the same six power cards, a chromed out buckle, and the actual legit blaster toy, not this dinky one. Um, but like I said, I owned it already, and my reasoning for the buckle and stuff, so I went with the cheaper version, plus I'm cheap. Uh, but yeah, it, it's not... It, it's bad. I'll say it. It's, it's bad. There's nothing really going for it except for the buckle, and with the knowledge that the buckle's going to be coming out on its own in a basic gear assortment, it's not really worth getting this set just for the buckle. Um, however, like I said, if you don't have the Power Ranger Blaster, um, and you can't really afford a Gose Morpher yet or anything like that, the Deluxe Training Set isn't that bad. Um, you do get the chromed out buckle, the blaster, a little tiny dinky Gose Morpher, plus the mask. So that set's a little bit more worth it than this one is. So it's pretty much up to your discretion, but really there's nothing in here that's really a must-have besides the thing that'll eventually be available separately. So it's not really worth it at all, unless you're a fan of the power cards and you need the six cards. So there you are. 
Uh, so you can check out shukinshinobi.com for this update to my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out writersrangersandrebels.com, the podcast bringing the latest token news in the greatest way possible. And you're wondering the difference between Megaforce Toys and Ghost Age Toys? Check out my um, comparison galleries at shukinshinobi.com as well. So take care and have a great one. Bye.